We are blessed to be living in an age when we have the full and complete Bible available to us. Before Moses recorded the first five books, called the Pentateuch, the truths of God and the accounts of his interactions with people were handed down orally. In the first century, the only scripture the Jews had was what we call the Old Testament, because the writers and receivers of the accounts and letters at that time did not realize that these things were God's inspired word given to man. I'm thankful to have been born at a time when we have the full canon of scripture, which contains every written word our Heavenly Father wishes to speak to us. Although this is true, May we not fall into the trap of believing that everything that has ever happened of significance or everything God has done is recorded in this sacred book. The final verse in the fourth gospel makes this clear. John twenty one twenty five. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. It is through the Bible that God reveals himself to us, and yet we serve a God who cannot be fully described. Even when his son Jesus took on flesh and lived among us, when he entered time and space, even in that brief three-year period of ministry, no one could record and preserve everything he did. These truths should drive us to the word in an attempt to know God more, but also give us awe and fear of the one who cannot be fully known.